Hello everyone. This chapter is about RF unit introduction. We will introduce different types of RF unit, their hardware structure, working principle, and specifications. Well, this slide listed three types of RF unit. The first is RFU, the oldest version which normally be installed inside cabinet together with our BBU. Well, second is RRU, remote radio unit. Normally be installed far away from BBU, can be on the pole, on the tower, on your stool, or on the wall. Support flexible installation. The blade RRU here is new type of traditional RRU. It's smaller and lighter and support seamless assembly. So by this way can save the on tower space. Well, the third type of RF unit is AAU. This AAU integrates the function of antenna system together with our RF unit. So can save the 0 0.8 dB jumper loss present better performance. Now first let's check the logical structure of RFU. Let's take the downlink data for example. So first, the high speed interface model will receive the optical signal from BBU and transfer the optical signal to electric signal. Then send to this TX signal processing unit. This unit will transfer the baseband signal to high frequency signal, then perform DA conversion, and then send to PA to amplify the power. Then the duplex will filter, filter this signal and send to antenna system through the antenna port. This is for the downlink data. For the uplink, so first the duplex will filter the useful signal received from the antenna system, send it to LNA, low noise amplify, to amplify the very weak radio signal. Then send to RX signal processing unit, convert this radio signal to baseband signal. The high-speed interface model then send this signal to BBU. Okay, inside RF you also have other model like control model, power model, extension interface to support the RFU function. Now let's have a look the physical structure of RFU. As we introduced, the RFU normally be installed inside cabinet. So can be adopted by BTS3900, BTS3900A, the indoor BTS and BTS00L and AL, outdoor BTS. Well, here is the interface and indicators of this RFU board. Because it be installed inside cabinet, so all the ports and interface are come out from the front panel. Here we can see the two big round are antenna ports. Here the name is antenna TXRXA. Means this is channel A, can transmit and receive data. Well, here is antenna TXRXB. Means this B port, B channel, also can support transmission and receiving data. Well, so if the port could not transmit data, only can receive data. So the name listed here will change to antenna RXB without TX. So that's the difference. There are six indicators on the front panel. The VSWR and ALM, these two indicators normally should start off. 
This table listed uh, the RFU, different types of RFU. RFU only used for FDD mode. TDD, we don't use RFU. Well, the top four types of RFU, CRFU, LRFU only support LTE FDD single mode. And here, MRFU can support multi-mode. Let's have a look at this MRFUD. It can support multi-mode, and the antenna configuration is 2T2R, means inside this RFU have two channels. Each one can both receive and transmit signal. This RFU can present a good output power performance. Each channel can output 8 volt power. Now let's check the logical structure of RRU. For RRU, if working on FDD mode, the logical structure the same with our RFU unit. But if this RRU is working on TDD mode, so here this duplexer changed to be one switch. To decide this second is for receiving data or for send out data because we know that TDD uh, is working on different mode with FDD. It decides the uplink data or downlink data by the time, not by the bandwidth. So for the physical structure of RRU, we can see it installed far away from our BBU. BBU normally be installed inside cabinet or on a support. Because it's uh, installed outdoor, so here we can see at the bottom of this RRU is the antenna output port, antenna TXXB, antenna TXXA. Also, they have the external alarm interface and IET interfaces. Here, can output two CPRI interface and connect with our power cable. This table listed various types of our RRU. They can work in on different mode. Well, this table is for FDD mode. Here, they can work in on single FDD mode or multi-mode and can support different antenna configuration, 2T2R, 2T4R, 1T2R. We also can work on different frequency band and have different output power performance. For TDD mode, the RU types uh, are less than the FDD mode. Here we can see the RU3253 and 3258 can support 8T8R antenna configuration. As we know, the operator year by year add more and more new sites, more boxes on the tower to provide better service for end users. Well, the space on the tower is limited. So this is one challenge for our operators. So Huawei developed this new type of RRU, Blade RRU, in 2012, try to help operator solve this problem. This Blade RRU is almost half size compared with traditional RRU and can support assembly seamlessly. So can combine three box into one box, dramatically saves on tower space. Well, it's also using a new engineering technology that support fast installation and maintenance. The here compared the traditional RRU with our new plate RRU. You can see it's almost half volume and half weight. And here is three box of plate RRU combined to be one box. So if the site solution is using six RRU, you can see here 
if you use traditional RIU on the tower, have six boxes. While if choosing blade RIU, can save almost 66% box numbers. Also, the blade RIU is using this mortise and channel joint, so can support fast installation and reliable installation. To install three RIU, only need five minutes. The multi-mode site and multi-band site nowadays is the mainstream site solution. While the blade RIU can flexible combine different types of different modes and different bands together to meet various scenarios. For example, to for the hot spot to improve the throughput and for the blind spot to supply the coverage. This table listed various types of our blade IO production. The top four types only support FDD mode and the bottom four types can support multi mode. Well, for the if you want to choose high output power RU, you can choose these three types in the middle. RU uh, 3632, 3832, and 3939. Well, the third type of our RV unit is AAU. We mentioned that this AAU is integrated the RIU together with antenna. So the RIU upward, upward into the antenna. So by this way, so we can compare with traditional RIU DBS solution. This 0 0.8 dB jump loss no longer exists for our AAU site solution. So by this way, can uh, provide, can bring more benefits. We'll now have a look at the logical structure of our AAU. It consists four main Unit. First is AU, and the second is RU, and MU, PU, this four unit. AU is active antenna unit. It sends and receives the radio wave. Also, it built in the RCU controller can adjust the antenna tilt. For RU, uh, the same function with our uh, F unit process the radio frequency signal. And the MU is management unit. It can connect to BBU through the C printer phase and connect to power supply and also can manage the tilt. The PU is passive, positive unit, provide interfaces to connect with uh, other outside RF unit. So this picture shows the physical structure of our AAU. We, we open this coverage. You can see here, have two RU unit. And they combined together with AU. At the bottom is our PU unit. Come out interface, connect with external RIU, RFU. So the indicators are all located on this side, this side of AAU. And at the bottom, in, it provides two, you can see this AAU, this type of AAU, provides two low frequency antenna ports and two high frequency antenna connection. And here is the MU, provides the uh, transmission interfaces and power interfaces. This table listed various types of AAU. Uh, now we common using these four types. This AAU3902 is for beamforming. And this AAU3910 is uh, ultra bandwide AAU. It can share the output power 
between different bands. We mentioned that for our AAU unit, the RCU is built inside AAU. RCU is used to control the antenna tilt. Well, here we listed three types of IET mode. The first is STMA mode. We're using one smart TMA here. And the second is SBT mode. Install one smart BIOS T near the antenna. And here is direct connection mode. RCU direct connect with our RRU. Now let's check how is SBT mode RET antenna connection. This is one RET antenna bottom has three ports, two for uh, antenna the feeder connection and one is for RCU. And here is one AISG control cable. One side connect with RCU here and another side connect with our SBT smart BIOS T. For the smart BIOS T, one port connect with our antenna and another port connect with the feeder. So this is the SBT mode IET antenna connection. Now let's have a summary of this chapter content. We introduced the RFU logical physical structure and the different RFU RFU unit the specifications, application scenarios. And also we introduced RRU, blade RRU, and also AAU. So that's all for this chapter's content. Thanks for your time.